All right, everyone. Sunday, November 1st, 2020. The one and only St. Mike emergency service call. Burnham P206 gas fire, two zone boiler. One zone, not heating. Haven't, hasn't had heat since Friday. We're here now, Sunday morning, 8 a.m. And we're gonna see what's going on. I think we got a bad circulator. All right, stay tuned. All right, Sunday morning. Gonna swap out this B and G circulator. Put in the Takeo 0015E. It's not doing anything anymore. So I got the boiler drained down. Boiler feed valve is closed. I'm gonna take off the uh, line voltage. Watch my water in my bucket. I'm not a fan of the B and G's. The old school ones, yes. But these, no. Let's get that out of the way. All right, let's walk to the side. <clears throat> Two bolts at the bottom out, two on the top. The circuit will come out freely. This has got to be spun around because we're pumping back towards the boiler. So that's got to go up. All right, our four Allen keys in one, two. Three, four, we take them out. All right, I got all the screws out. And <clears throat> when you swap this thing around, you gotta pay very close attention not to uh, pull it all the way out. So let me see if I can get a good video of this. So it's gonna crack. <laughs> not doing that. I don't wanna spin this around like that. Put it back in, you wanna make sure that O-ring isn't messed up. Oh, I still gotta go one more. See, my arrow's pointing down. This has gotta go that way, like this. See, arrow's pointing down. All right, let me put these screws back in. Are secure. I'm 
grip, two O-rings. Don't need the IFC because I already have flow checks <clears throat> in place. So, when we take off the circulator, like that, all right? Make sure you take out the old O-ring. Make sure the, on both sides, okay? Oh God, I am a saint. Doing this all one-handed for you people. <laughs> all right, let's see. Get the O-ring on right there. Let's lift this up this temporarily. Slide it right there. Okay. There you go. Just like that. Let's get the other one ring. We'll put that on the top of here. Just like that. Now, <clears throat> when you're putting your bolts back together, the actual nut itself rests on that little slot for on the circulator flange. It's like that, see? And you screw this in, go up. All right, hold on, so I got both of them in. When you uh, position this, you wanna make sure that the bolts are in the center of that slit right there and there. Otherwise, when you tighten this up, it's gonna favor the side. All right, let's keep that in mind. I'm gonna get my little baby channel locks out again. Tighten this up. Like that. You wanna do them equally both sides. Back again here. And now we'll repeat up here. BS connectors connected. Now it's gonna connect the wiring. Obviously here we don't know which is neutral, which is ground, but if we knew we would take line to black and neutral to white. All right, so wiring is done. I'm gonna set this to medium. Because you also have a problem with air in here, I'm gonna take out this this air scoop. It's only what we want from the truck. Let's get a Kalefi. Alright. Taking out this old Taco. No Mato mist. Whew. Putting in this Kalefi. One eighth inch tapping by the way. Now let's take a look at the piping for this boiler, which is kind of messed up and retarded. All right, this boiler has three zones. One, two, three. This is obviously a future, all right? This one goes to a third floor air handler fan coil. This one goes to a fan coil in the basement air handler for the first floor. And this is our return piping. So we're pumping back towards the boiler. Here is our supply side. First stop along the way, low water cutoff. That's three quarter inch tapping. Coming up, they did keep an inch and a quarter piping, but let's see, we'll take a look what they did. They have a T here, three quarter check valve, and it's going into that air handler with the fan coil right beside this wall right here. Future, sorry, so, no, this one is the future. This is the one going into the basement. And then they go uh, inch and a quarter by three quarter by three quarter T with an air scoop, which is, I guess, really, sh whatever. It's this should be before all the zones leaving. And the, the, since there's a check valve there and there, there and there, then this will actually read this, the true system pressure, um, kind of pumping towards back to the boiler. Eh, 
I always like to pump away from the boiler. All right, so now that we have all that situated, we're gonna close the boiler drain like that. Let's open this bad boy back up. Okay, let's open. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. You can hear that. system refill back up and then we're going to purge so we're going to take this hose that we had before hook that up to we're going to do the top floor first actually let's do the ground floor first <clears throat> okay system is still filling up throw a little more pressure in there Keep an eye on the pressure gauge. We don't want that to get hit blurry. Okay, fast fill. Okay. Now, when I purge, when I close this valve, this is my supply side going back to the boiler. So take a look what's going on. Here is our incoming domestic water. Pressure reducing valve. Don't worry about the relief valve. But now that's tapping, that's getting water into the boiler. Supply side leaving. That's, that can't go anywhere. This is the first floor and that's the top floor there. So when water has to go through all zones, but as you can see, they're closed here except for this one. So when I open this one up, I'm gonna get that. Tons and tons of there. I'll also take, keep an eye on the pressure and adding from the manual fill on the pressure reducing valve as we go along. And we're going to continue until we don't hear those air bubbles anymore. Pretty easy. I just cracked that open a couple times in case there's any pockets of air stuck right there. All right, so we're looking pretty good and pretty decent. That's it, then we'll close it and we're done. Easy peasy. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the remaining zone, which is the top floor. So all the air comes out. You don't wanna recall having to go back. It's already, a, it's already Sunday morning, 8 a.m. You don't wanna come back this afternoon because now the top floor air handler isn't getting hot water in circulation because of air. Crack that over. See what I did there. Got some, got some air out of it. Okay. All right. Let's turn the power back on. On, on. Everything's good. That's wired. Let's go turn the power on. There's no switch here. The first one, the second one this morning. So both lights are on. Takeo 15 e is on. All right, we're gonna let this heat up and make sure we have good circulation across both zones. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you're one of the 85% of the people who are subscribed, who are not a subscriber who watch these videos, please just take a, a second and support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Have a great day. God bless and be well.